Let's see who this is. down slowly huh so i know i ain't gonna get no copyright strike for that because it's me <laughs> anyway good morning good afternoon good evening family i had to figure out something to do for these first two minutes before i could start talking because you already know youtube is not having it so i try to respect what they want us to do otherwise i need my own uh, network and I don't have that so while I'm using a stuff I have to honor their wishes so they are not getting me with that <laughs> I found a way around that I'll be using my own music from now on how about that uh this story y'all that I'm about to uh, get into is is real disturbing for me um because I I didn't I never I didn't never heard of this person or anything, but uh, what what I'm seeing is so disrespectful and uh, shameful. I but I'm never you know I'm never surprised because I I know how this shit works. Okay, uh, and that's this dude. Oh God, it's just disgusting. Name Kalan Kalan Walker. That's his name. He's convicted of serial rape. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Alon Kalan Walker, an actor and rapper best known for his role in Superfy, was convicted of raping six people and assaulting another. See, the only super fly I know is Ron O'Neill. Okay, so y'all can, you know, I'm off the hook with this because uh, I wouldn't have picked him for no super fly nowhere. Anyway, his attorney, Andrew Flyer, uh, confirmed to news the rap, adding that he plans to appeal the decision. He out here raping? Yeah. Oh, I got, okay. Mr. Walker maintains his complete innocence to the charges and allegations. The defense is very confident <laughs> yeah, right, that the convictions will be reversed. Uh, that's, that's just one too many. A Los Angeles County jury, jury found Walker 27 guilty of the charges on Monday. He was acquitted of an additional three charges, including two charges of forcible rape, according to the mm, 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 media reports. Walker faces a maximum sentence of 100 years to life in prison. He is due back in court um, uh, May 27th. 
Walker also reportedly maintained his innocence in the courtroom on Monday. And according to the Rolling Stone, as he was led away in handcuffs, he yelled, I didn't rape anybody, Your Honor, a la um, Jesse Smollett. Prosecutors said the attacks occurred between 2013 and 2018. Three of the victims were underage. Ugh. Deputy District Attorney Cynthia Wallace told Rolling Stone that Walker name-dropped Drake and used his connection to Halle Berry in order to gain access to women. We feel that this verdict, the jury gave these victims back to, and with this verdict, we feel that the jury gave these women back their voices. It was very sophisticated, Wallace told the outlet, adding, once they were there, it wasn't about doing photo shoots. It was about assaulting them. Damn. The L.A. County District Attorney did not immediately respond to the rap's request for comment. Let me tell y'all something. Um... This guy obviously was a serial raper, a serial rapist. And um, there's a story I tell and I've told before about my brother and I. Well, actually, it was my friend who lived way in the suburbs because her mom was a, uh, a principal and they lived way out in a different county a different little village than Milwaukee. And um, I I uh, was introduced to a young man through her. And this young man was another one, a rich black kid. His father was an architect who designed a lot of uh, buildings downtown Milwaukee. He's like probably the most sought after black architect here. Okay. So she brought this guy to my house and um, I met him and we were teenagers then, I think, or in our early 20s, maybe. And I met this dude. And of course, the days where my friend worked, he would come by and he would sit there for hours and hours. You know, we would watch movies or TV, um, you know, the days that I had available, he would come by or he would play checkers or chess, I'm sorry, chess with my brothers. And this happened, um, I would say, for about a month straight, okay, to the point where one time he came by and, again, we didn't expect him to come by. He just started, kept coming. Now I was getting to a be a problem like you know listen why don't you call and check and see if we got anything to do before you just you know keep coming over here so he didn't respect the boundaries right and he would just come and show up anyway and then one day he just showed up and he was just sitting on on my porch okay I'm like what's up with him now so my brother told him say hey look didn't we tell you um, uh, you know, to, to call and make sure it's okay before you come over and that we don't have anything to do and yada, yada, yada. You know, curse, he sit there and he's like, yeah, yeah. And he was real docile by nature. You know, his nature to us was very docile. So anyway, he said, well, I just want to be here another half an hour. I got somewhere to go and I'm early. For my appointment. I said, look, you keep on saying that. You always say you got to, you know, be, I'm like, why, why are you leaving so early if that's the case? Because, you know, you, it's, you're not guaranteed always to stop by here to kill your time. So stop doing it. I've already asked you that. This dude, one day, my brother was watching TV. And when I came in the door, his face was looking like he had saw a ghost. And I'm like, what's wrong with you? He's like, I'm just going to call him Dex. Dex. Dex was on the news. I'm like, huh? He said, 
Dex was on the news. He was the UWM serial rapist. I'm like, what? He said, yeah, and he couldn't even hardly talk. His, his face was flush. I'm sorry. He was so spooked because there was a couple times that um, I guess my brother wanted to just hurt him for this, so you know, for for uh, not this following protocol. But you know, we called him off. You know, he was like, "I want to kick his ass." He said because he t he heard you tell him not to come over here, and he just comes anyway and sits on the porch and wait. I'm sick of him. Well. Well, my brother found out that he was the rapist, and then they, the police had to call in like four to five units to put him down when they finally caught him. Because not only did they get him, they had to put him on a 51 50 because he was just totally psychotic. He spazzed out like Jeffrey Dahmer when Jeffrey Dahmer was caught. Start howling at the moon and all kinds of crazy stuff. And that was my first experience with something like that. I was in total shock. Um, well, I also was singing with a guy. And he was a serial rapist. He was a serial rapist. And... We used to sing, and so I remember one day my manager came down and he told us, he said, uh, you won't be working with um, Blase Blase anymore. I was like, what? He said, yeah, and he put a newspaper down, and there was this guy's picture. He had been going through the town raping women. Oh, my God. So when I see something like this, Kalan Walker, who was in um, a movie with Halle Berry, who probably knew a lot of um, up and coming actors and act, you know, in Hollywood, there's a lot of people out there. The same habits that they had before, just because you make it to Hollywood, don't make suddenly straighten up your life. And for this guy to be convicted of being a serial rapist. And actually more than 30 women coming forward to say that this guy sexually assaulted to them. It's just one more one one more reason I, I I'm glad that um he he was uh convicted. Because people like that need to be off the streets. Um and there's no way in the world they should be able to share the same space with us. Anytime you take something from somebody they're not willing to give you, you kill something inside of them. There's something that inside of them that don't respond the same anymore. And so I'm talking to all men because women can't rape uh, other women. But men can use sex as a tool of power to override and overrule and dominate somebody. And once you do that, you have really messed them up from being the kind of women that they should and could be. And they'll probably start a life full of just all kinds of um bad behavior because of the experience of being molested and having um, sex, um, being sex uh, too early in your life. So anyway, um, I want to know what y'all think about this dude, Kalan Walker, because this is insane. Ugh, I'm disgusted. Anyway, let me know how y'all feel about this dude. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. Please like the channel. Please make a comment. Share the channel. Make a donation to the channel. All those things are acceptable. 
All those things will be greatly appreciated. And we'll see you in the next video.